Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at a quick way to dress up yogurt for kids in your schools. Um, these are a quick smoothie bowl. So we're going to do two different varieties. I have some blueberries and I have some mixed berries here. Um, what you want to do is, these are just frozen berries. Let them thaw, drain off the juice, and then we're actually going to use the juice to flavor our yogurt. And this is just a regular vanilla low-fat yogurt here. So we just mix this right in here. And the juice from those blueberries gives this such a beautiful color. And then because there is blueberries in the mixed berries, I'm going to go right ahead and use this same whisk with mixed berry juice. And then what you're going to want to do after that is you're going to portion it out into whatever dishes that you are serving it to your kids in. Of course, being mindful of your age or grade group to make sure you're hitting the crediting amounts that you need. So I have two different bowls, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some of my blueberry smoothie into this bowl. I know I'm not exactly measuring right now because I'm kind of going more for appearance here than crediting, but just be sure. You know, if you use a number eight scoop, it is a half cup or four ounces, so that is a great scoop to use when dishing out any breakfast items. All right. So we have our smoothies uh, poured into our bowls. I'm going to use this number eight scoop, and I'm going to scoop up a half a cup of blueberries, and I'm going to gently place them on the top of that yogurt there. Of course, if you're serving younger children, you could always use a smaller portion of the, uh, the smoothie, a quarter of a cup of fruit, and then offer an additional fruit with them to hit that half cup minimum that you need for a reimbursable meal. So then I'm going to go over here with my mixed berries. And again, trying to gently place it on top so they can really see that fruit that they're getting here with that. Um, if they don't like their food touching like this, a great thing you could do is actually just serve like the USDA um, frozen strawberry cups or mixed berry cups along with it. And then if they want to, they could add it on top themselves. Another fun thing you can do with these, just to give them a little more flavor, or even some crunch, is add additional toppings. Um, for instance, with the blueberry one, coconut goes great. And you can just sprinkle some of that on there. You can either do a little bit or a lot. It just kind of brightens up the bowl um, and gives them a little bit more texture. Me personally, I would love some mini chocolate chips on mine. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit on top of the mixed berry one here. And of course, you know, in the school breakfast program, because this is mainly um, meat, meat alternate and fruit, you would need to accompany this with a grain. So many options you can choose from. You could serve this with a whole grain waffle or a whole grain pancake, French toast sticks, um, even bug bite crackers, things like that. As long as they're whole grain rich, it would make a reimbursable meal that your kids would love.